Hey guys, welcome back to Fire Emblem. We are on chapter 25. This is the Pale Flower of Darkness, another map that has two potential variations. I have Kenneth's map right here. The other one is Jeremy's map. It's like J-E-R-M-E, -E, however you say that name. And they each have two different things going on. This is post-commentary, by the way. So there's going to be some cuts while I'm talking. Um, this map is all about the promoted units, like this general here that I'm about to kill with Dorcas. There are two units you could potentially recruit. Harkin, who is a hero, which is what Raven, way back when, promotes into. Harkin is a super good unit, too. The other potential recruit is Carol, who is a swordmaster like Guy. And Carol is absolutely terrible. Yet, the game treats it as though Carol is the better unit because he is harder to obtain under normal conditions without cheats. Looks like I'm warping Matthew up there, okay. So, this is Kenneth's map, and as I said, the stipulation is to get Harkin. By the end of turn 9, you need to have defeated, at most, one promoted unit, like this guy here. He is a bishop. Or, yeah, he's a bishop. So he counts as a promoted unit, just like the general I killed. So I just killed two promoted units, that's more than one. So I've already, I can't get Harkin, it's automatically Carol. And because this is not turn 9, and um, yeah, that's the thing. If it was the other variation of the map, it's all about opening doors by turn 9. And in that case, it's the same thing. In order to get Harkin, you need to have not opened more than three doors, I think it is, for Harkin to appear by turn 9. Um, but if you have opened more than three doors, then you get Carol again on that map variation. So there you go, that's all the explanation needed. In my first playthrough ever, I got Jeremy's map, which is not this map, and um, I got Harkin. This time around, we're playing Kenneth's map, and I'm going to recruit Carol, because obviously I've already defeated more than one promoted unit. Um, the difference between the two maps is the sum, not of your Lord's levels this time, but it's the sum of, like, Urk, Sarah, Priscilla, and Lucius, the sum of their levels, versus the sum of Dorcas, Guy, Bartre, and... I forget the other one. Oh, Raven. So if Sarah, Urk, and Priscilla, and all them are higher than Dorcas, Guy, and whatever, you get this map. If it's the other way around, you get the other map. So I guess that means... Urk and Sarah combined have a higher level number than uh, Dorcas and Guy, since those are the only ones using of the thing. Okay, with that explanation out of the way, let's actually look at what we're, what's going on here, because I'm not even paying attention. I've been too busy trying to properly explain that, and hopefully I did. Awesome music again. So, yep, this is going to be a very quick video, just super quick. Chop up this chapter and let's get it done. It's fun, though. I like the other map better, personally. It's a lot more complex and fun. And I think it has more of a nostalgia factor for me because my first time playing that game, I got the other map. This one, I've only ever gotten using, messing around with these Code Breaker and Game Shark codes. And yeah, there's not much going on on this map compared to the other one. So, there are a few chests though. We're gonna be grabbing some chests. Ah, uh, yes, warping Oswin in there to clean up. He's got a spear, too, so he can take on anybody if they even so dare attack him. I think there's three tre treasure chests in this um, map. The other one has, like, four at least, I want to say. I think it has way more than that, actually. But yeah, it's funny that they think Carol is a better unit than... Uh, Harkin, because it's definitely not. Harkin is really good. He comes with a great sword. I think he has a brave sword to start out with. Or a light brand, I can't remember. Carol just has, like, some regular sword. Or maybe it's a Wo Dao or Dao, however you say that. But compared to Guy, at this point, he's gonna be weaker. However, the game, his... He has a nickname. Every unit in this game tends to have a nickname. Um, 
And this Carol guy, it's like, it's K-A-R-E-L is how you spell his name. I don't know if it's Carol or Carell. But I forget his nickname, but it's something along the lines of like Sword Master, like the true master of swords or something. I don't know. But yeah, his stats are really not that great compared to if you really put in the time with Guy. Guy would probably be better than him by now. Path of Radiance features a similar situation with a Swordmaster that you can recruit. Um, but the difference there is that guy, if you recruit him, at least you get a killing edge out of it. Which is kind of what Guy was in this game. Alright, so the good news though is once we get through this chapter, the best parts of the story are coming up. It's all Jafar Nino stuff. And as I said before, that's the primary reason I wanted to play this game, and honestly, it is the reason that, um, I kind of consider this game more fun or better than Path of Radiance. But looking back at it, I'm not so sure. Maybe it's just because I'm having a hard time with this Let's Play. Um, but yeah, like, the Door of the Explorer stuff is not in Path of Radiance. And, uh, I don't know, I think Path of Radiance just lacks, like, a super personal moment, like, Jafar and Nino's whole, uh, story arc. And it's like the whole concept of the Black Fang and Nurgle and stuff, I like that story better than the storyline of Path of Radiance. But they're both good. And I would say maybe gameplay-wise and stuff, Path of Radiance might be better. But the animations in this game are way better. I don't like the 3D ones. But yeah, I gave, gave a set of chest keys to Fiora, so we gotta... Got, uh, it is Guiding Ring, right? Not Gilding Ring? And then, of course, we got two sets of lock pits on, lock picks on Matthew. A blue gem that we don't need. What's going on here? We're bolting somebody. Oh yeah, the whole gimmick of this, too, is it's snowing. So just like way back when, Chapter 14, when it was raining every couple turns, the snow slows you down so much and it's super annoying. That's why you have that stipulation of by turn 9, and it's actually quite a challenge to do everything by turn 9. But, once again, why would you want to if Harkin is the better unit to recruit anyway? Assuming you're not using Raven, because Raven could surpass Harkin, potentially. Actually, I think almost always. Yeah, like I said, this is going to be a very quick video. I think it's like 15 minutes long or something. That's all right, though. Oh, wait, the snow will stop soon. That's your chance to move ahead. Yeah. So it's kind of the reverse of that chapter 14 with the rain that started not happening, and then every couple turns it does. And this warp staff definitely makes it a little bit crazy. I forget when you first find a warp staff. I think I mentioned it already, it might- you might find an earlier one in Hector's story, but otherwise I don't think you would have had it by now. And once again, it only has three uses, so you really gotta use it well. Yeah, Hector! Getting ready for that S rank X! And now we've got a talisman, even not that we have like 90 of them already. I don't know, part of me is kinda tempted to redo this entire Let's Play with strictly live commentary and no cheats. I thought the codes would be interesting, but every now and then I question it. And I'm recording this in advance, so there's no way of seeing how many people it actually annoys that I'm so overpowered here. But believe me, when you actually are messing around with it yourself, it's a lot of fun. And that was the whole point, is to just have fun with it. And just to have a nostalgic sharing of this game that I remember from my late childhood, early teens, mid-teens, however... No? See, so yeah, I graduated high school in 2006, this was 2003, so yeah. I was already into high school doing stuff. Probably shouldn't have been playing these games. Yeah, well, what can you do? Oh, he doesn't have a Worm Slayer? That's inconvenient. Still got those animations, though, and he gets the critical. Is that a one-hit? Yes, it is. Man, 61% critical hit rate. I love Guy for that. I really would like a code that just has it 100% all the time. That would be fun. 
Although that's cheating again, and it, wasn't I just talking about that? Go ahead, Ella Wood. Use the Brave Sword. 15 times 4. Yeah, the cool thing about those times 4 things is you get the two strikes in before the enemy goes. So in that case, it's just the enemy doesn't get to go. But as we saw with Lloyd in the previous video, on certain characters, that times 4 only becomes times 2. And I'm not sure that you get those two strikes early. I forget. I didn't have the animations on, so I don't know. Alright, Kenneth, are we getting close here? We gotta be. I think we got all the treasures. I think one of these units, one of these guys had a staff um, that could really mess you up. I don't think it was a Berserk staff. That's coming up, though. There's my most hated chapter of this game also has, like, the best story moment. And that one is rampant with enemy staves that could really screw you up, in addition to some other bizarre mechanic that is really annoying. But with the Warp Staff and Fiora and Heath, we're gonna wreck that map when we get to it. Good job, Hector. Just enough for a level. Where is he at? Level 3, Great Lord. Yeah. We gotta give him some talisman and dragon shields going into the final fight. But I'll probably hold off until then. A bolting broke! Oh no! <laughs> ah, I believe I go after them with dart here. See, the thing about these cheats, too, is it gives you the opportunity to use these units like Dart that are otherwise kind of hard to use. Uh, you're gonna do it? What's going on, Pass Elf? Make a decision! Oh, I see. The 52% chance of hitting. Ah, oh, yes, it didn't matter anyway, now did it? No, it did not. There you go! This guy apparently was protecting the item, remember, from the end of the last video? We got an aura. That is actually a really good light spell, I think, but I have nobody... Well, no, I could give it to uh, Sarah. She can use light magic. Although, I, she probably can't use aura. That's more advanced than... I don't, know. I don't even know if Lucius could use it. There we go, mopping him up. Now it's just waiting for Carol to appear. I believe I cut it out. Here, yeah, here he comes. Here we are, a good wind. Appropriate to the feast about to begin. Who are you, Carol? I heard the Black Fang was gathering recruits. I'm here to challenge them. Do you have a reason to do so? My sword is my life, my sword is my reason. You. You are quite good, but you will improve. Very good, I will join you. You're going to help me and my friends? But why? Someday you will be a famed sword fighter. It would be a waste for that skill to die here. I must have you stronger. I will wait for that time. Shall we continue? The feast awaits. Yeah, so he... Oh, he does have a Wodeo or whatever. Well, yeah, Guy is better than him, so... But yeah, see, he's like that sword dancer or something, and he's all about... He lives by the sword, and all he cares about is... I don't know, he gets off to really good swordsmen or something, and that's why he's waiting for Elowood. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, but that's his character. Seize the throne, and we're done. Boom. Kenneth's map... Is finished. Everyone is being driven out mad by Nurgle. What could this be? It can't be the Fire Emblem? So this knave had it all along. Let's take it and go. We finally got it back. Let's not waste our good fortune. Let's make haste for the manse. Is that how you say that word, manse? Yes, we gotta stop the assassination on Prince Zephyr. You know your role, yes. The plan must be carried out tonight. Mother, just once, if only for a little while, may I hold your hand? You know, you know how I abhor such displays. I know, but I may not get another chance, and I thought... Very well. Huh? If you complete this mission, I'll hold your hand as often as you like. I will even hug you and stroke your face. Oh, really? Then I must do my best. I will, I will, I will succeed. Wait for me, Mother. I will. Be careful. All right, I'll be back. Ah, Jafar, wait here for a moment. It's about tonight's mission. What is it? Once you've killed the prince, kill Nino, too. Jesus Christ, man! What?! The assassinations both come directly by the king's request. 
The prince is well loved and his death will trigger much chaos. If the assassin is not caught and hanged immediately, the chaos will engulf burn. A scapegoat is needed. Do you understand? Nino is your daughter! Yeah, you tell her, Jafar. She is trash, garbage, human refuse. I'm just happy at last to have found a use for her. She did say she would do anything to please her loving mother, did she not? Her death will please me more than her living did. What is it? Do you have something to say? This has nothing to do with me. When Lord Nurgle found you as an orphan, he chose you because of your callous heart and your skill with the blade. Lord Nurgle does not give second chances, don't forget. Ah, oh, yes, don't you just want to behead her? I love how much it gets you feeling for Jafar and Nino. So now we gotta go stop the assassination on Prince Zephyo, my favorite chapter, man. But that'll be next time. Thanks for watching. See you then.